Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, methods of demand forecasting. It's a Delphi technique. This method is also known as expert opinion method. In this method, seeks the opinion of groups of expert to about the expected level of demand. The identity of uh, expert is kept secret. This opinion is changed among the various experts and their reactions are sought and analyzed. The process goes on until some sort of unanimity is arrived at among all the experts. The advantage is that the forecast is uh, reliable as it is based on the opinion of people who know the product very well. The disadvantage is that the method is subjective and not based on scientific analysis. So Delphi technique is nothing but this is otherwise called as expert opinion method. Next, we are going to discuss quantitative techniques. It's statistical or analytical methods. These are forecasting techniques that make us historical quantitative data. A statistical concept is applied to the existing data in order to generate the predicted demand in the forecast period. It means there is some um, use for the forecast period, uh, for example, five years or 10 years like that. So the statistical methods which are frequently used for making demand projections are Trend projection method, barometric method, regression method, and econometric method. So these are the methods of statistical or analysis, analytical methods. Trend projection method. So trend in the sense, you already heard that word uh, in 1990 to 95. So in that interval time, they have to change uh, five years, so 1990 to 95, then 96 to 2000. Like that year to year, it will change the trend. So the same like that we are going to analyze in the trend position method. Uh, in olden days, we are using that Nokia 0100, but now we are using that Apple iPhone, right? So the same like that, there is a lot of changes. So trend projection method is nothing but an old firm can use its own data of past years regarding in, uh, uh, regarding the past years. These data are known as time series of sales. Assumes that past trend will continue in future. Past trend is extrapolated that means generalized the trend can be estimated by using any one of the following method graphical method least square method time series data moving average method and exponential smoothing so these are the trend projection methods so what do you mean by graphical method we are using the graph so your trend line can be fitted through a series graphically for example if you see the product life cycle introduction growth maturity decline so the same like that a yeah, trend line can be put out to series graphically the direction of curve shows that trend the main drawback of this method is that it may show the trend but not measure it next least square method so fitting trend equation or least square method is based on the assumption it's nothing but hypothesis so that the past trend will continue in the future that's a least square method for example if you're using the formula y equal to mx plus b Trend projection method, time series data. So data collected over a period of time, recording his, uh, historical changes in price, income, and other relevant various influencing demand for a commodity. Time series analysis relates to the determination of changes in a variable in relation to time. So there is some changes from time to time, the season uh, to season, it will change. That is a time series data. Next, moving average method. The moving average of the sa sales of the past years is computed. The computed moving average is taken as forecast for the next year or period. This is based on the assumption that future sales are the average of the past sales. So these are the methods of demand forecasting. That's a qualitative. Exponential smoothing. It uses a weighted average of past data as the basis of forecast. The procedure gives heaviest weight to more recent information, smaller weights to observations in the more distant past. The reason for this is that the future is more dependent on the recent past than on the distant past. So it's a trend projection method. Next, barometric method. So in barometric method, demand is predicted on the basis of past events or key variables occurring in the present. This method is also used to predict various economical indicators such as saving, investment, and income. For example, if you take it as that uh, budget. So at the time, budget. So, what are, for example, if I'm going to manufacture the television, at the time, suppose in the budget, 
the television rate it will be reduced means immediately whatever you manufacture the television definitely you can sell in that low cost one so this method was introduced by harvard economic service in 1920 and further revised by national bureau of economic research nber in 1930s this technique helps in determining the general trend of business activities for example suppose government allots land to the xyz society for constructing building this indicates that there would be high demand for cement bricks and steel the main advantage of this method is that it's applicable even in the absence of cost data so finally we are having the regression method this method is like uh, as a correlation and regression you are saying in that search so correlation is nothing but relations between the two variables the regression also like that it have to relation between that two variables so this method is undertake to measure the relationship between two variables where correlation appears to exist for example the age of the air condition machine and the annual repair expenses so this method is purely based on the statistical data so these are the methods of demand forecasting thank you all thank you all for watching